It's an art show for the faculty, staff, and employees of the health sciences institutions. There are over a hundred pieces and representing 42 artists. All of a sudden you know them not just as a doctor or a nurse or a veterinarian or a pharmacist. Think, oh, they have this other life. Um, so I'm Allison Zielinski. I'm a third year internal medicine resident at the University of Wisconsin Hospital. We're kind of your general internal medicine physicians. We take care of patients, obviously, broad. We do some outpatient work as well as taking care of the inpatients in the hospital. So um, I think in the meantime, we're just going to continue to treat you with antibiotics. Not everyone knows that I paint, so you know I told my friends I should go see it. The central theme of my art over the past few years has involved medicine, probably something that I had seen in medical school in a pathology class. And I thought it was fun to go see everyone else's work as well because I saw you know works made by people that I didn't know were artists either. Um, so that was fun and. My name is Mike Killips and I'm manager of Classroom and AV Services. Uh, I work for the med school. I really enjoy photography because it's an outlet for me to do some creative work. It's a nice distraction. It's a way to um, look at the world a little bit differently. And then sometimes, hopefully, uh, by looking at this, there will be some kind of emotion that comes out of it. It's a stress reliever. It's inspirational. It removes you from your reality in a way is when you're painting and you're sketching and you're paying attention, you really can't think about how are my children behaving, does my husband still love me, <laughs> I mean, you re that I've got a test in three days, you can't. Uh, my name is Lee Eckhart. I am um, a cardiac electrophysiologist. I study arrhythmias in the heart and I try to prevent sudden death. I've been painting for about 20 years. Most of my work is created from either a life event or inspired by nature. So it's sort of abstract representation of a, a natural phenomena. I think people underestimate the creative power that scientists have um, and that it's often expressed with their experiments and what they're, you know, what what you what you plan to do in the lab, but that creative energy is also manifests many times in music or, you know, in my case, the visual arts as well. The creative energy that I have for art is also what I try to bring to my patients and to the procedures that I do and the research that I do. When they're taking care of people, that they realize that people aren't just about the disease or the ailment, or the surgery that they have to have, that they're also musicians, that they like to paint, that they like to photograph, that, that besides their work and their physical presence, that they have a mental presence as well, a creative mind.